Time now is 6.16. Your pinpoint weather and traffic are together every 10 minutes, and it is a dry start this morning. Finally, after what seemed like days of rain showers, we can see that skies are clear. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. We'll even focus in on the Providence areas. If you're traveling up 95 and 195, not only are roadways dry, but you'll find good visibility. We will have some gusty autumn breezes for this afternoon, at times gusting to 30 miles per hour. Dry, cool into the upcoming weekend, and we're virtually storm-free for the week ahead. There's one day that I'm concerned about. It's Monday. We'll talk more about that. And it's more just the risk for some scattered cool showers. But live city cam pictures this morning, abundant sunshine, temperatures at 49. West-southwest winds are light at 8, and the humidity at 71%. I guess I should say it will be abundantly sunny once we finally get into a full sunshine. Temperatures right now, 42 in North Kingstown, 45 in Narragansett, Mystic also in the mid-40s. We're still hanging at 50 in Dartmouth and Buzzards Bay, one of the milder spots at 58 degrees. Overall, it's noticeably cooler in many spots, down 10, 20 degrees from where we were yesterday morning. Notice some extra clouds starting to stream eastward into New England. Scattered showers across New York and Pennsylvania. Those are going to have a tough time progressing eastward, but there is a front. It's a cold front, this blue line that you see, and that will work its way through our area today. It may have just enough moisture left in it to generate perhaps a stray shower or a sprinkle in our area. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. High pressure then builds in behind it for the upcoming weekend, and that high will be overhead and protect us from any showers for both Saturday and Sunday. It's straight out of Canada, though, so it does come with some cool air. You can see the pocket of the cool air over Canada and even stretching into the northern Great Lakes. Green Bay, down below the freezing mark this morning. That air will moderate by the time it reaches our area, so we're not talking about any frost threats here in southern New England. As you travel up into uh, places like northern Worcester County, southern New Hampshire, they could see more frost next couple of nights. But for us, our biggest concern for this afternoon, one of those brief showers perhaps working through the area. Once we get into late afternoon, those tend to fizzle and we'll get back into some late day sunshine. Skies turn mostly clear then for tonight and more chilly weather. Winds will start to diminish as we head into the evening hours. And Saturday looking very nice. This is noontime, still mostly sunny skies. I think we'll see some of those fair weather cumulus clouds develop in the afternoon. I'll show you what I think skies will look like for your Saturday. For today, though, partial sunshine by afternoon, 65 and westerly. So we don't hold on to the clear skies that we have this morning all day long. In fact, uh, turning perhaps even mostly cloudy for a brief time. Cumberland at 65 with a quick sprinkle or shower. Northwest suburbs, Taunton, you have the best chance of seeing one of those quick showers. Fall River at 66 as you get closer to the coastline, more likely just to have a plain dry day. There's a small craft advisory still in effect on the bay, waves at 2 to 3 feet. For tonight, diminishing winds, mostly clear and chilly back into the 40s. And then your Saturday again, sky should look like this. Lots of blue, some of these fair weather clouds, temperatures about 62 to 66 degrees. Water fire Saturday night, bring a jacket, temperatures in the 50s under clear skies. And if you're planning on checking out the fall foliage, head north into Maine, northern New Hampshire, where you'll find peak color. Still a good amount of color as you travel into southern New Hampshire, too. So overall, not a bad weekend for that. They could still catch a shower. Better chances in northern New England of catching a couple of showers uh, Friday and again for Saturday. Our next chance of seeing perhaps some widespread showers will be on Monday with temperatures only in the upper 50s. It'd be a chilly shower. 6.20 is your time right now. Tony's in tonight live at 5 with an updated future cast.